Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Code Interpreter API, as this is a new project as well as an innovative tool that is built upon Langchain, which has been implemented for the actual use cases that is similar to ChatGPT's Code Interpreter. Now, for the people who do not have ChatGPT's premium access plan, you can't actually access their own Code Interpreter. So this is a good feasible way for you to utilize it for free and cheaper. Now, there's no subscription that is based with this project, so that is one good thing. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you will need to utilize your Open API's key, Open AI API key, sorry. And this is something that is paid, so you might need to keep that in mind when you're utilizing this. But it's fairly cheap. It is not as much as twenty dollars, which is the premium plan's actual subscription fee for ChatGPT's Code Interpreter. So that is something that is practically free when you're utilizing this API key from OpenAI. But the purpose of this project is to provide a user-friendly interface while executing Python code in a sandbox environment utilizing Codebox. And this is something that is being based off in the back end as it utilizes Codebox. Now, for the people who do not know, Codeboxes is a cloud infrastructure that has been designed for large language model apps, and it allows you to basically run various components of your application locally. Now, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing some of the features that are correlated with this application. We're going to also take a look at how you can install it locally on your desktop, some of the things that you can actually generate with this code interpreter. And lastly, I'll showcase you a little bit about some of the cool examples that people have made with this amazing application. So before we actually get into the gist of that video, it'd mean the whole world to me, guys, if you guys can go give World of AI a t on Twitter a follow if you guys haven't already. I'm going to be posting the latest AI content over here in terms of news. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to World of AI, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so because I'm going to be posting the latest AI videos over here. So I highly recommend that you do so. Definitely give this a subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen any of our previous videos, definitely do so because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, let's get right into the video. So guys, the Code Interpreter API serves as a bridge between the user and the underlying execution environment, facilitating the safe and efficient execution of the Python code. Now by leveraging code boxes, sandboxing capabilities, you're able to see that the API ensures that the code being executed by users does not have unauthorized access to critical system resources, which is providing a secure environment for code evaluation. Now you as a user can basically use Code Interpreter API to interact with it through a well-defined set of endpoints and parameters. Now this inference allows developers to integrate the Code Interpreter into your own application or your own workflow you can do so much with this guys and this is something that could be utilized for a huge project or even something that is quite small another thing is that it enables various use cases such as a live coding or a code playground or even an online programming tutorial which is some of the use cases of this amazing app and behind the scenes another thing i wanted to emphasize is that the Langchain implementation of ChatGPT's code interpreter leverages the power of GPT models and language, uh, basic like LMs, to in understand the process of the user's input. And basically, the API interpreter also uses the code snippets that are provided by the user, and it generates responses or executes them using the code that is depending on the context. And this is one of the great things about this utilization of Langchain with this application. You can see the rundown as well as the metadata of what is happening with the whole code execution so you can get a better idea of what is happening with the full code now guys as we talked about the api is being interpreted using the code snippets that are provided by the users and basically it's so that the responses are being executed and that the code depending on the context is able to be generated and to actually generate this or to achieve this process what the code interpreter api does is that it interacts with code boxes and it basically takes care of the actual execution of python code so code boxes then ensures that the code is being executed within a secure and isolated environment which basically prevents it from causing any harm in the system it runs on 
Now this separation of concerns basically enhances the safety and the reliability of this API project and it's going to be so much more suitable for a wide range of applications and different workflows. In terms of the features, you can see that you're, there's a data analysis feature, a stock charting feature and an image manipulation feature. You have access to the internet as well as auto python packages which helps generate different types of code that is already associated with python packages you can input text plus files receive text and files which is amazing you can have conversations with the memory basically so if you had used the application previously it utilizes and stores memory based off of what happened in the past execution of generation and it then uses it for future generations so it's able to provide a better intuitive answer now you're able to run it everything like the whole application locally except on the open api open orca is another thing that they're basically working on uh, you can use the codebox api for easy scaling in production now these are some of the amazing things that are said about this project there's many different things that are not stated here but I'll be showcasing some of the cool examples of what people have done using Code Interpreter as to what they were actually able to generate with this amazing app. Now let's take a look at how you can actually install it locally on your desktop. Firstly, you'll need Git, which is going to be an application that will be used to help clone the repository onto your CPU. Secondly, you'll need Python. This is your code editor. And lastly, you'll have Visual Studio Code to input the open API key into the application. So once you have these three installed, have your API key on the side and generated. And then what you need to do is open up command prompt. Now, once you have that opened up, you need to go back onto the GitHub repo, type in git clone and scroll up a little bit, copy the code, click on this green button, copy the code link right here for the actual repo and paste it by clicking here, pasting it over here and then click enter. Now, once that is done, you can type in CD now, once you're in the actual folder, you need to now start installing the whole dependencies and the packages that are associated with what you've installed. And that is by copying and pasting this command and clicking enter. We'll start installing what is associated with this project. And once that is done, I'll be right back. Now guys, once it has finished installing, you can open up Visual Studio Code. So click on the open folder. Now find the folder, which will be right around here somewhere, right there. Select the folder, open it up. Now what you want to do is trust authors, go click on this .n file. So you'll now need to input your open API key, which you can put right over here. And that is by copying the open API key and pasting it here. So I can do that, paste it. Oh, my bad, copy the wrong one and paste it here. Once that is done, take, rename this file and take out the example. Once that is done, you can click enter and click save. Now you can also input your code box API key and this is going to be used or required for production, but this is optional obviously. And if you want to use the verbos API key, you can set it here or set it to true if you're going to be using it for logging. Now that is it for now and you can click save. And what you can now do is launch it. Now let's actually take a look at a couple of examples. We can see over here that you're able to generate a Bitcoin chart. And this is through having internet access with the application. And it plots the data that is reported from Yahoo Fan Finance and plots it for you. It generates this code and it then plots it using the information that is sourced through the internet access and we can see over here if you click on the docs i believe or uh, sorry the assets you can see that the whole chart is being plotted for 2023 and this is what is currently happening with bitcoin as it's currently almost at 30k now you, there's another example as well as another way of plotting things you can see over here there's something to plot a sin, sin wave and show it to me and i believe it showcases something like this for the different types of graphs that are used now there's another thing where it outputs a certain type of file you can convert a file to a certain thing and you can do so much with this guys and i highly recommend that you check this out and start playing with it for your own use cases because it will be way more convenient and it'll be used for a lot of different things 
Now you can also use additional tools and this could be used to implement or do add on with the actual application to generate different types of code. So that's basically it as to how you can actually install it. Now in conclusion guys, the code in server api is something that is very powerful and an amazing versatile tool that will be used for executing python code in a secure and interactive manner now i hope you guys got some sort of value out of this video and that this installation or whatever i talked about in today's video helped you guys out so with that thought guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on twitter follow me if you guys haven't already turn on notification bell and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous tweets definitely do so to stay up to date with the news now if you guys haven't subscribed to world of ai it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so turn on the notification bell like this video and check out my previous videos if you guys haven't already and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas